hello everyone and welcome back to stylish ninja channel so guys in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to cut these two styles of peplum so you can see the first one then this is the second one so these are another way of style spicing up your peplum games okay so let's get started so these actually are the fabrics that i'm going to be making use of for today's tutorial so i just got a couple of fabrics so the first thing we are going to do now actually we are going to cut out the first one so i'm just trying to clear off my table and then get the fabric okay so the first peplum that we're going to cut out so this is the fabric uh we're going to cut out this triangle peplum so that's the first one we are going to actually cut out okay so you fold your fabric into four the same normal way you fold your normal fabric when you are cutting out your flay your peplum so what i'm trying to do i'm trying to measure out the length that i want so there are two things that you need to consider when doing this the triangle part which is the longest part you have to put that into consideration so that should be the length that you use to fold your fabric okay so if you can see this is about 15 inches about 15 inches so that's the long part that's the part that is going to come out like the triangle it's going to be the longest part so the next thing now what i'm trying to do now i'm trying to measure the side to see what i have so for this side i'm going to be using actually about 10 inches so before then what you will do after folding that you add your waist measurements that depends on the waist measurement that you are using to cut out your peplum you can use your flay formula also divide it and then use your normal peplum formula just add your waistline, okay? So that's what I'm trying to say. So after you finish adding your waistline, I'll just mark it that way. And then the next thing, I'm trying to get out the length of my flay or my peplum. So for this, is is optional. Depends on how long you want it to be. So this side now that I'm measuring are going to be the sides of the peplum, which is like the normal length of your peplum so it depends if you are doing it on a gown or on a, a a blouse so as you go along so what i'm trying to do i'm trying just trying to show you when you want to cut a normal peplum so this is how you actually cut a normal peplum so you can see that's a regular peplum where all of the sides are equal okay so but for this triangle peplum and just watch what i'm trying to do so you start from that side as your normal peplum and then as you go along you'll be opening up your hand the target and the aim is for you to hit the tip of the fabric okay remember the first length we measure which is the longer part so that's just like basically what we are aiming at so you can see me tilting my hand towards that part so it depends on what you want if you want it longer just follow the same method and then measure it so after marking it so i'm just trying to use my pattern curve to curve it out nicely okay so depends on if you want it curvy if you want it sharp or so depends on what you want so you can just use your pattern curve so at the end of the day you can see how it looks like okay it's not a very big deal so the next thing i'm going to do now, i'm trying to cut it out so I'll cut out the top part, which is the waist area, and then I'm cutting out the down part. So I'm just trying to cut out the excess. So that's just basically what I'm trying to do right here now. Okay, so after cutting it out, yeah, yeah, I have, okay, yeah. So I finished cutting that out. So I'm just trying to trim it so it is equal, straight, and smooth. Okay yes so more trimmings and more trimming so these are some of the things that you need to do so the next thing so you can see after opening it up you can see how it is you can see this down part is long and then the sides are not long okay so i'm trying to open it at the front so it depends if you are going to add a zip to this you add your zip allowance to do it so you cut it open so i'm trying to raise it up but i'll just leave it down because it's not showing properly I'll add it i'll place it on my mannequin later so for this you have two options you can decide if you don't want the back of your peplum to have the triangle stuff so you can just curve that in like that and then you trim it out so at the end of the day it's only the front part that will have that 
design that will have that style line okay so that's what i was just trying to show there so the next thing now i'll just place it on my mannequin like i said so now we're coming to the second one which is the curve peplum so i just named it the cover actually did not know the name to 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 give it so i just gave it so in case you know the name you can please drop it on the comment section okay so for this one is a simple process you just mark your regular length of your peplum so we're cutting it the same way so mark your regular length of your peplum that's the full length of where you want it to reach okay so that's basically what i'm trying to do i'm trying to mark my curve on my fabric you fold your fabric into four also note and then you add your waist line measurement so for the top part which we are going to cut out so i just added the waist so like i said use your own applicable measurement so this i'm just making this for the sake of this tutorial okay so after that i'll just go and then cut out my flay so you can see it now this is my normal regular 360 degree flay so you can see how it looks so i'm trying to fold it so the next thing now we're going to work on the style line to create that curve okay so i was just trying to set up my camera nicely so now from the center part that's the folded end i'll come up by four inches so this depends on how up you want it the curve to be okay so from the center part of the waist part, I'm going to measure it and then measure the center. That is, I'll measure it and then I just want to get the middle of this flay. So that's just basically what I'm trying to do. So I marked it on that part and then that curve that I, you know, I came up by four inches. Yes. So I'm just making a curve from the center front. I'm making a set from a curve. So that part, that center is actually the folded side, not the side I have opening. Okay, so this side now that my hand is, that is the side I have opening. So from that side, I'm making another curve, a lesser curve of about 2 inches. So you can see. So that's the curve of about 2 inches. So I'm just curving it to go to that center part again to come and meet the other one. So for this, I would advise for you to try it out on a pattern paper or you use your lining before you actually make it on your actual fabric don't use your actual fabric to try this use a lining use a pattern and then after everything you you be you cut it out and see how it looks like so after everything now after making the curve so you can see the front the center curve is longer it's higher rather so i'll cut that out right now and then i'll cut the one on the side that's the down part which will now when you place it it will be like the side of the peplum or the flay okay so i've cut that out <clears throat> so i'm just trying to trim it so it looks okay and good okay so the next thing i'm going to open this up so when i opened it up i noticed that that center part the middle was not very curved so no need to worry just take your scissors that was why i said use a pattern to try this out first and then if you like what you see you can then transfer it to your actual fabric piece so i trimmed that out so the next thing i'm going to place them on the mannequin for us to see how both of them look like okay so this is the first one we did which is the triangle peplum so you can see it came out fine it came out good so follow all of the process and then you will be able to make your own in case you don't want to do the regular peplum that we know so this is another way so the next thing now this is the second one the the curve one okay so you can see the curve so the fabric i use is actually a soft fabric so it's not really structured so i would advise for this one this peplum this second one this curved one use a fabric that is strong okay so guys thank you guys if you find this video helpful please hit on the like button and if you have not subscribed please subscribe to my channel